Good morning, wonderful people. Got a word of encouragement for somebody. So the enemy knows the Bible. The enemy knows the word. So he'll actually try to use the word against us. And there's somebody out there. <clears throat> the enemy is um, on your back. And he's trying to tell you that you don't have faith. So you know the Bible. And you know that the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. So what the enemy is doing is he's telling you that you're displeasing to God because you don't have faith when you actually do. Now, Bible says, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, you know, you can cast it into the sea. Now, faith isn't the lack of doubt. Faith is believing in the presence of doubt. So what God has planned for our life, what he wants us to do, what he has for us, whatever he may have you doing or pursuing or stepping out on faith to do, there's going to be doubt. That's what faith is. Faith is small. It's a mustard seed, a mustard seed tree. A mustard seed is small. It's tiny. It's about the size of a pinhead. It's about this big. See that pinhead? It's about this big, the size of this right here. But that tiny bit of faith is what pulls you through. You may be trying to do something and you may put it down for a week and say, you know, what? I can't do this it's too hard. There's no, I don't see a way. But like the next day, there will be something inside of you that says that won't allow you to quit. It won't allow you to, you won't be able to see yourself going forward in the future without doing this certain thing and picking it back up. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human heart has conceived, God has prepared these things for those who love him. I got fuzz everywhere. You may be, um, you know, whatever the case may be. Like for me, for example, when, when the Lord told me at 35 that he was going to move me to Hollywood, I just lost everything. I'm like, how in the world are you going to do that? And as I stepped out on faith and put the steps the action behind it things started to happen but there were times where i was like there's no way in the world i'm gonna move all the way from murfreesboro tennessee out to hollywood california the lord said to me you have seen correctly for i watch over my word to accomplish it and every time i would try to put it down i would get a phone call i would get an email or somebody would say something to me in the store or um, somebody would come up and ask me say hey are you are you an actor by chance or and then that mustard seed of faith was activated what then is apollos what is paul they are servants through whom you believed and each has a role the lord has given i planted apollos watered but god gave the growth so then neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only god who gives the growth now he who plants and he who waters are one and each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. He told them, The harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. God met me out on the water. I couldn't put it down. Somehow, some way, it always came back around, whether it was a feeling or nudging from somebody else, that's God meeting us out on the water. So you won't be able to quit. You won't be able to put it down when it's God because the mustard side, that mustard seed of faith is growing. What does the worker gain from his struggles? I have seen the task that God has given the children of Adam to keep them occupied. He has made everything appropriate in its time. He has also put eternity in their hearts, but no one can discover the work God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to rejoice and enjoy the good life. It is also the gift of God whenever anyone eats, drinks, and enjoys all his efforts. I know that everything God does will last forever. There is no adding to it or taking from it. God works so that people will be in awe of Him. Whatever is, has already been, and whatever will be, already is. 
Guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. It's growing. And as you continue to uh, allow it to be watered, it's God that makes it grow. One man waters it, one man plants, another waters, but it's God who makes it grow. So as you pursue that thing, whatever God has you do, you're gonna encounter people, situations, circumstances, that can, it's gonna water your seed. And then eventually, if you stick to it, that mountain, that insurmountable circumstance, that impossibility is gonna be thrown out of your way. Let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. You're going to overcome it, and then a tree is going to grow. Out of the mustard seed is, is going to come a giant tree. I'm actually in front of a giant tree right now. Yeah, I'll show you. It's kind of foggy today. But here, I'm going to turn this camera around and show you. See that tree right there? Let me zoom in on it. So from that mustard seed, that small pinhead that I just showed you, you'll get a tree like that. That's what a mustard tree looks like from that small seed and that's what our faith does so out of a tree now look at now, now what happens to a tree a tree has branches um it has a trunk it has roots and once that mustard seed of faith it grows you'll be able to provide shade for other people you'll be able to find uh, provide a resting place for other people you'll have branches um, you'll be able to do things for other people. So from that little mustard seed of faith, it'll produce a big old tree. Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8 says this. So don't allow the enemy to uh, use your own faith against you. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water. It sends its roots out towards the stream. It doesn't fear when he comes, and its leaves are always green. It will not worry when drought comes, and never stop producing fruit. Jeremiah 17, 7.